Hey, what's your boy Atomic coming at you with another YouTube video and today we're going to be talking about the future of my content and specifically the content on this YouTube channel. I know a lot of you guys have probably noticed that I haven't posted many videos here in the last few weeks or months and there's a huge reason for that but the first thing that I want to say is a huge thank you to the Fortnite Nintendo Switch community. The last two years has been the most fun I've ever had creating content, building a community, and hanging out with you guys. You know, prime time Switch Fortnite in, in chapter one, season eight, nine, and 10, and then the competitive scene in chapter two, season one and two, all the way up to Winter Royale, you know, the cash cups, the 1v1s, the monster tournaments, all of it was very, very fun, and I enjoyed every last second of it. I know towards the end of it all, a lot of people were getting sort of frustrated with the lack of things that were happening and you know i think a big reason of that is fortnite in general is starting to slow down a lot and then being on nintendo switch doesn't help because there's a lot of performance issues that's always been a thing but then on top of that now there's a lack of competitive scene with fortnite mobile being banned fortnite switch not really getting any tournaments so all of the content in and of itself has become very stale and no one's really looking forward to it a lot of people have been left the switch community in the first place whether it's way back when they were still trying to play on ps4 and xbox one whether it was the re release of the brand new consoles whether it's just moving to pc or just not playing fortnite in general a lot of people have moved on and that is a-okay but when it comes to me specifically for my content there's two things that i look for either a i've got to have a lot of fun making the videos that i make i really want to enjoy the process of content creation that's the whole point of being in this industry right doing something you enjoy in life or b whatever i'm posting you know is, is doing really well or has potential for growth and it's got like a a bright future but whenever i'm going over two for that in content then it's time to move on it's time to make a change so as far as going forward i still have a huge belief in the nintendo switch community i think that the biggest issue for nintendo switch is that all their games i want to say 99 percent of their games doesn't necessarily translate to content creation. There's a whole bunch of games, right? I'm not an OG Nintendo fan, so I know everybody's really excited about like Metroid and all these other different kinds of games. They, they look really good, whether it's uh, you know Legend of Zelda, though those things they look really fun and they are they are they are really fun, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it translates to content or the need of content creation. So because of that, you know, I think I think Fortnite was just uh one of those things where it was just like, yeah, that's that's a that's a one off. That's a very, very good game that was good for growth while it lasted so the next big game on nintendo switch is splatoon 3 i'm hoping that there's a, a lot of other games in the mixer that we don't know about yet but moving forward as an individual content creator i cannot sit around and wait for something to happen if i do the whole content thing is just gonna fall off the rails right you gotta you gotta do things and strike while the iron's hot so moving forward all my nintendo switch content will be moved over to the Monza Esports channel, if I post any, I think it's still going to be more focused, not on my content specifically, but I do love the Nintendo Switch community. So when anything big, major happens, especially I know Splatoon 3 is going to go down, managing whether it's content creators, players, and, and I'll be in the mix as well, creating content with all these guys. All of that future Nintendo Switch stuff will be posted on Monza Esports and carried forward through Monza. So if that's what you're excited for and interested in. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the Monza Esports YouTube. As far as this channel specifically, I think I'm going to switch over and try to move on to mainstream games. Those are the games that I've been playing in my free time over the last, you know, half year. Um, just trying to get better. I started playing a lot on keyboard and mouse. I want to say like six, maybe seven months ago. And I'm pretty solid at it whenever it comes to these different games. You know, I'm Platinum 1 in Valorant. I've been playing a lot of Warzone. I got like a, over 2KD in that game. And I've been, pretty, I've been getting pretty solid at those games. I know breaking into the PC market and, and into those mainstream games is really tough. And I've tried it before in the past. All my OG, OG, OGs know. Um, back when I was Nigerian Nemesis, I tried doing that when I switched over from Class Royale originally. And it, honestly, it didn't work. Um, but we're here trying it again because the only way to make it as far as sustainability goes as an individual content creator is to try to make it in those mainstream markets. So I'm going to do my best in that regard. All of that content will be covered here on the Atomic channel. I think you'll see a bunch of streams. It'll be all be on YouTube. Streams, videos, highlights, whatever it is. And I'm going to start posting a lot more clips on TikTok. So if you're interested in any of those mainstream games, you can stick around. Um, the Call of Duty beta, for example, is coming out here in a couple of days. So expect to see that stream. Expect to see some videos here on the channel. Battlefield comes out, I think, in October. And then Call of Duty fully releases in November, and then Halo comes out in December. So a lot, a lot of new games, a lot of hype stuff coming out here 
in the gaming industry and those are the games that i play for a majority of the day so expect to see a lot of that content here on the channel no matter how it goes we're going to try this out here for the next i mean who knows year or just moving forward pretty much on this channel and see what we can do in that regard if you don't want to stick around for that honestly i completely understand if if you subbed for fortnite whether it was fortnite in general or just nintendo switch content feel free to unsub i don't take that personally at all you're always free to sub and unsub to whichever youtube channel provides the content that you want to see but moving forward i think i don't have a choice i have to venture out into this and see what i can do as an individual content creator so that my side projects like monsta esports like the nintendo switch scene or if you guys are into mobile gaming gaming because right now as far as all my youtube channels go my mobile gaming channel is doing really well we're playing a lot of bullet echo as you guys can see right here so if you want to see my mobile mobile videos go ahead and check out more atomic pubg new states coming out so we might cover some pubg content I know uh, Supercell is releasing like a brand new mobile game called Boom Beach Frontline. So expect to see some of that on here. So we're just like experimenting. We're just trying all the different content and trying to see what works. And I know it's going to be a long and hard path, but I think that after dwelling on this for the past six months, I think that this is the best decision to make all these different side projects on opposite channels and then trying my best on the main channel to move with the mainstream wave. I mean, those are the games I enjoy, not just because they're mainstream. I really love playing Call of Duty love halo love valorant all these fps games really fun and even games like league of legends you know wild rift and a uh, whole bunch of different mobile games so anything i enjoy i'm gonna i'm gonna record it i'm gonna make videos on it post content on it and see what we can do we're gonna have to grind and work really hard because i know like i said i've been here i've been down this path and the last time i tried this i had to completely rebrand to make something happen so hopefully we don't have to go down that route again but we're gonna put in our our full effort and i just wanted to make this video to let you guys know what's going on expect the content to start coming out uh i might even do like a valorant stream tomorrow and then the day after that we'll do like a we'll do the warzone or the uh call of duty vanguard beta stream or something like that so i want to let you guys know going forward what we're doing here on the channel so anybody that does stick around and does support i just want to let you know that i really really appreciate you and even if you have to unsub and move forward onto a different channel different content i totally understand and i want to just say that i'm Really, really grateful for all the support you've given me over the past two years. We're still going to try to make things happen on the Nintendo Switch side of things. We're still going to try to make things happen on the mobile side of things. And we're just going to have fun in this content creation industry and see what we can do here in the next five years. Um, but I just know it's going to be a long journey. So I just wanted to say thank you. And I hope you guys have all been doing well. Hope you're staying safe, you know, with COVID. I know a lot of people have gotten their vaccines ready and schools are back open. So just continue to stay safe. Continue to have fun and enjoy your life. Uh, we'll keep on doing things here on the content creation side of things. And I hope you guys keep doing things in real life and have fun as well. But thank you for enjoying the video. And I hope you guys go on to enjoy. But it's the rest like of your day. I